Mother knows best. Chapter 3, Spongebob Show was a smash hit. Everyone in Bikini Bottom watched it. A few mornings after the show had begun, Spongebob stepped out of his limo in front of the studio. A huge crowd was there cheering for their new TV star. Thanks for watching! Thanks for watching! Thanks for watching! Said Spongebob as he walked past the crowd. Hi, Spongebob! yelled Patrick, jumping up and down and waving wildly, but Spongebob barely looked his way. Hey, thanks, he said. Thanks for watching. As Spongebob started to walk inside, Patrick grabbed him. Excuse me, Mr. Spongebob Superior Pants, he said. Aren't you forgetting who your friends are? Spongebob started to reply when an assistant rushed up and handed him a note. From your mother, Mr. Spongebob, she said breathlessly. Spongebob opened it up. Spongebob looked up from the note and sighed, his eyes shining. Ah, that mother of mine is always so wise, he said. Then he noticed Patrick as though for the first time. He threw his arms around his friend. Patrick, Patrick, I am so sorry I didn't pay enough attention to you, he said. You're my best friend, and friends are very important, right? Huh, pal? Patrick nodded as best he could while being squeezed around the head. Yeah, I guess that's true, he said in a muffled voice. Come on in, said Spongebob. You can watch today's show from a front row seat. The subject is cake decorating. And that, said Spongebob at the end of the show, is how, is how to create a perfect frosted flower. He was busily piping pink roses. All around the edges of a towering frosted cake, the audience oohed and awed. Questions? asked Spongebob leaping into the audience and thrusting a microphone under someone's chin. How did you learn to make such perfect cakes? a lady asked. Well, said Spongebob modestly, polishing his knuckles. I owe it all to one person, my mom. Aww, said the audience. Another person asked, I want to knit a sweater for my husband. He's a hammerhead shark and hard to fit. Any advice for me, Spongebob? Try a roll neck collar, Spongebob replied. It tends to be looser than ribbing at the neckline. The audience cheered as the closing music began to play. Sam Sandoller dashed out of the control room and raced over to Spongebob. Another fantastic show, Spongebob, he said. That mother of yours sure did raise a dynamic kid. Thanks, Sammy boy, said Spongebob. So did your mom. Stay tuned for Chapter 4, coming up soon.